at 5.30, the owner of a Littleton gun shop operating in this old mill building is facing federal charges. Prosecutors say he sold three handguns to someone he knew was going to give the weapons to someone else. Some neighbors say they worried for months about the gun dealers in that mill building. WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us one state senator's working to make sure nothing else illegal is going on there. Court documents show that one of the guns used in the Hyde Park Boston shooting was traced back to this Littleton mill. Inside, there are 80 gun dealers. Along Great Road in Littleton sits this old mill that holds the largest cluster of gun shops in the nation. We do have, you know, 80 gun dealers in one building, um, and this this is a, you know, the perfect storm, I guess you could say. The town's chief of police, Matthew Pennard, says they do their best to inspect each and every business. But this week, the owner of Steelworks Defense Solutions was hit with federal charges. Prosecutors say 28-year-old Corey Daigle allegedly sold guns to a straw buyer, knowing the guns would end up in the hands of an unlicensed man. Boston police connected those weapons to a November shooting in Hyde Park. That's deeply disturbing and, and I think the reality is these gun dealers have not been properly inspected. State Senator Jamie Eldridge visited the mill and says he's concerned with how business is done there. Now filing a bill to strengthen gun laws in Massachusetts. To ban ghost guns, uh, which are guns that are similar to ban, ban guns but just different enough that dealers think they can sell them. And I am concerned that these loopholes are happening at the Littleton gun mill. Daigle, the gun shop owner, allegedly told investigators he knew the sale was illegal but needed the money, saying, quote, at the end of the day, I needed the expletive cash to pay my distributor. I sold three guns in one night. The point is, I'm a gun dealer. I did a straw purchase. I expletive up. While Chief Pennard believes one business shouldn't reflect the entire building. One business is, is going to put a, a black eye on the rest of the businesses that are there. Senator Eldridge hopes the attorney general will step in and investigate. And this building has been purchased by a developer for millions of dollars, and I'm told he's now going business by business to make sure what they're doing inside is fully legal. From Littleton, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.